Introduction, what is a matroid? So I wanna start with a matrix, I'll call it A, and ask the question, which collections of three columns of this matrix form a basis for the column space of the matrix? So remember, a basis consists of columns that are linearly independent. They're not multiples of each other and they're not linear combinations of each other. So let's stare at this matrix and see if we can detect which collections of three columns are linearly independent. How can we tell? Well, one thing we can do is row reduce A first. So um, I've gone ahead and done it. I can't remember whether or not I did it by hand or used a computer to do it, but I'm pretty sure it's correct. So it's kind of illuminating. Um, looking at the row reduced version of A, you can see that the third column is clearly a linear combination of the first two columns. Um, a little less obvious is that the fifth column is negative column three plus two times column four. And if you look carefully, the same thing is true for the original matrix A. Column five is negative column three plus two times column four. And we could stare at these matrices a little bit longer and try to see if there are any other dependencies between columns. But there's actually a preferred way, and that's to look for non-zero three minors of A or of the row reduced version of A. There's a fact from linear algebra that says that the columns of an R by R matrix are linearly independent if and only if their determinant is non-zero. So we can just compute all the three by three determinants and pick the ones that are non-zero. Um, we could do this for either A or a row reduced A. So I've, um, I've definitely asked the computer to do this for me instead of doing it by hand. I uh, numbered the columns of A one through five, and then each one of these tuples gives the columns indexed by those numbers and the corresponding determinant. So you can see um, our observations were correct. Columns one, two, and three are not linearly independent, so their determinant is zero. Same thing with columns three, four, and five. And from looking at this list, we can see that there aren't any other dependencies. All the other collections of columns, there are a total of 10 of them, are linearly independent. Then the matroid um, curly M sub A on A is given by the set B consisting of all these three tuples that have non-zero determinant. So all of the three tuples except for one, two, three, and three, four, five. And the sets in B are called bases for the matroid since the columns form bases for the column space of A. Now what's a matroid? A matroid is a generalization of the collections of linearly independent columns of the matrix. It's an abstraction. We forget about the matrix and just talk about the, the tuples of indices. Where are matroids used? Well, the short answer is they're used anywhere graph theory is used. An equivalent construction of a matroid is given by the circuits of the graph called the circuit axioms definition. The definition I've given is the basis axioms definition. So matroids are used in combinatorial optimization, artificial intelligence, machine learning, software engineering. Um, an example would be the traveling salesman problem. So this is the problem of a traveling salesman or salesperson. They have different cities to visit and <clears throat> looking at their map, there's a cost uh, of visiting each city. It could be the distance between cities. It could be the cost of fuel, and the problem is to optimize the trip of the salesman. Matroids are also used in coding theory, error correcting, data compression, cryptography. Um, for error correcting codes, matrices themselves are actually used to create the codes. And then matroids are also used in network theory, particle physics, biology, social networks. An example um, of a network theory problem is the Bridges of Kernigsberg problem. Um, this was famously solved by Euclid using graph theory. 
And the problem is that you have a city with seven bridges and you want to traverse the city um, crossing each bridge exactly once and no more than once.